Okay, we are here today to show you how to install what we call air mesh. It's basically the materials in air mesh and a Cordura, kind of similar to a backpack. So Michael here is our installer and he's going to go ahead and start with the headrest first. So the good thing is the headrest cover just goes right over the headrest. You don't even have to pull off the uh, headrest in this case. And then there's a small piece of Velcro that's tabbed onto the inside that he would pull out and then attach to the back. So that's for the uh, headrest that's on there. So now we're going to go ahead and do the seat bottom. So this seat is great because it's very breathable, very porous. So on the back side, on the underside of the seat, you can see the way this particular seat comes is that it's got two pieces of webbing with two plastic buckles that connect to this guy right here, right there, connect just right there. And then we have this waist strap, which is made from Velcro. And Michael can show you how it opens up. And uh, that goes all the way around the width of the seat. And so that's what we have to work with. So Michael's gonna go ahead and start installing. And so this is the seat bottom. We recommend the seat bottom first. It goes on up and over the seat. So go ahead and stick those straps through the uh, apex, which is right here between the seat back and the seat bottom. And it's just two straps. You just take your fingers and just push it underneath the seat. Pretty easy. And then from the back side, you just grab those two buckles and pull it pretty snug. Because the, the idea here is to get it to fit. And then that's what makes the great fit is getting it all the way tight. So here's the waist strap of the Velcro and you have a male and a female side. So what you want to do is push it around the seat. And if you see there's a, on this particular model, there's a plastic skirt is what we call this. And what you want to do is use that little Slim Jim tool, little plastic, or your fingertips. And you want to push the uh, Velcro that you're given from that out quarter side down between the plastic and the seat. So you can grab it and this way it, it remains above the track. And that's the idea. Never use any of the straps below the track because it, it stops you from rolling up and back. And so there's the one side, he's half done. There's the other side that goes in there. And then he's just gonna touch the Velcro. Doesn't have to be super hard, but just get it to, to fit. Now Michael's on to the next strap. These are the two long straps. They gotta go over. If you have any kind of bar for adjustment, um, you wanna go over it, not under it. And then he just puts it from the front here all the way to the back. He runs it underneath all the way around. And he's looking for the other side of the buckle that he had just previously put between the seat back and the seat. You can hear him clicking it up over the bar, but he puts it right around there. And then you're gonna hear a click. And, uh, and now it's time for the seat back. Okay, it's the same air mesh. Uh, a little bit of the Cordura backpack material and a little bit of neoprene here and there. This one happens, this pattern, the seat cover happens to have the uh, opening for the headrest and it's got a little bit of Velcro tabs on the corner just to cinch it up. You'll see why in just a minute. And uh, it's got the piping on it on the side. You can see the piping and we have an airbag provision here. Go ahead and uh, pop it on. And this one happens to have a pocket, a map pocket on the back of the seat. This happens to have a little uh, map pocket. And this one is also a full back. If you, just to point that out again, it's got a full back. It has two pieces of elastic to be able with the hooks to kind of ensure that extra fit. And then it has the two long webbing straps. It's gonna go all the way around to the front of the seat. So we'll go ahead and put it on. And just so you know, we're pretty much on the final home stretch. And uh, oh, there's the hardest part, just getting it over the seat back, over the headrest. And then Michael's gonna go ahead and put the long webbing straps back through between the apex there, between the seat bottom and the seat back. And he's gonna take his fingers and just push it under. Pretty easy, simple process. There's one, there's two, Get a little bit tighter because the seat bottom's on there. 
So he's got to take the, the big uh, straps, the long webbing straps, go underneath the seat, click it to the front, and then he's going to pull down. There he pulls back, he cinches it up, and so the second strap goes through the exact same process. And Michael, you might want to pull that down a little bit. I can see a little bit of bag right here. So this is a real common thing that he's probably got to come around to the front here in a couple of, there he goes. You can see it being pulled down. So what you want to do is maximize it, the, the length by just pulling it. So the, the seat back mates up perfectly with the seat bottom. And every, every car truck is a little bit different. This one here happens to fit pretty, pretty close. And we're just about there. Now he's gonna close up the neck by the uh, headrest. So he's just gonna make sure it looks good. Kind of pulls it. And of course, you don't need as much muscles as Michael has, but it helps. Definitely helps to be able to pull it down. So there he is, he's in the last final stages. Those, those two pieces of elastic that were in the back, he's pulling down and attaching, but basically he's looking for a uh, coil underneath the seat. He's trying to pull it as tight as he possibly can for elastic, and we're about all done. This is a very easy, very simple um, seat to put together. Looks great, thank you.